because they persevered until something happened that's the push the push for miracle if you just say well i prayed and nothing has happened maybe god doesn't want me to have the blessing me god wants me to be blessed maybe the devil doesn't want me to to leave me alone for me the devil will leave me alone i said he will leave me alone how about you you leave you alone you persevere until something happened and then we're told behold in verse 7 the angel of the lord came upon him and a light shined in the prison and he smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and the chains fell off from his hands my chains are broken my fetters are broken the chains are falling up tonight once you persevere until something happens something is going to happen and then in verse 9 and they, they went out and followed him he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel and they thought she saw a vision and when they were past the first and the second watch they came to the iron gate which lead that leadeth unto the city which opened to them of his own accords all those iron doors tonight they are opened the doors of the prison they are open tonight because number one you pray until something happens number two you plead until something happens number three what's number three you persevere until something happens number four now preach until something happens you know there's some people they, they just preach once and if uh, you know nothing happens they say, well maybe i'm not called to be a preacher i am a preacher and i keep on preaching until something happens to you and these uh, three days we're together i'll keep on saying it reading the bible to you until that door will open until that miracle will happen i preach until something happens acts chapter 14 i'm reading from verse 7 acts chapter 14 reading from verse 7 we're told in verse 7 acts chapter 14 remember now preach until something happens and there they preached the gospel there they preached and preached and preached and preached the gospel in verse 8 and there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet. And he lived and walked. He kept on preaching until the man had faith to be healed. And the word you are hearing tonight, you know, I've preached so long now, you have faith now. I said you have faith now that's what paul did he kept on preaching he kept on preaching he saw the layman there and he looked at his face like he's not got it and then he kept on preaching until he looked at him and saw that he had faith to be healed and he said this is the right time get up on your feet and then the man got up and he got it and tonight when you get up you've got it already you preach until something happens number five prophesy until something happens prophesy until something happens i'm looking at ezekiel chapter 37 ezekiel chapter 37 i'm reading from verse 1 there ezekiel 37 verse 1 the hand of the lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry and he said unto me son of man can these bones live the situation was so terrible and the bones were all disunited and disjointed and the bones were even dry and now god said son of man ezekiel look at the condition of these bones have you ever seen something like this before can these bones live and then i answered O lord god thou knowest and then the lord said all right look at verse 4 prophesy and then we're told he prophesied and then we're told again in verse 7 so i prophesied as i was commanded and then in verse 9 then he said unto me prophesy unto the wind and 
prophesy son of man he said again he prophesied in verse 10 so i prophesied as he commanded me he just kept on prophesying and prophesying and proclaiming what the lord had told him and then he said and breath came into them so now you're having life and then it says, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. You see what Ezekiel did? It was a very bad condition. And then God said, look at the condition of these bones. Can these bones live? And uh, he said, humanly speaking, I don't think anything will happen, but I cannot tell. God, you know, you can tell. And then God said, prophesy. He prophesied. Prophesy again. He prophesied. Prophesy again. He prophesied. And kept on prophesying until something happens. That's what I'm telling you. Push. You pray until something happens. Push. You plead until something happens. Push. Then you persevere until something happens. Push. You preach until something happens. Push. And then you keep on prophesying until something happens. Number six, now proclaim until something happens. Proclaim until something happens. Isaiah chapter 61. Isaiah chapter 61 i'm reading from verse 1 i said chapter 61 verse 1 the spirit of the lord god is upon me that spirit is here tonight is the holy ghost the anointing the unction the anointing that breaks the yoke is here tonight the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord has anointed me to preach the gospel the good tidings to the meek he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted this is the word now to proclaim liberty tonight you are free tonight you have liberty everything that bound you before everything we are going to proclaim until you are totally free tonight to proclaim the liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim that's the word again to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all that mourn to appoint unto them that mourn is zion to give unto them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees of righteousness you are that tree of righteousness tonight and the planting of the lord that he might be glorified push you proclaim until something happens tonight something is going to happen i said tonight something is going to happen number seven now praise praise you praise the lord praise god inhabits the praises of his people you praise until something happens acts of the apostles chapter 16 in acts of the apostles chapter 16 we're reading from verse 23 acts chapter 16 we're looking at verse 23 and when they were they had laid many stripes upon them they cast them into prison charging the jailer to keep them safely who having received such a charge thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks you look at the condition of uh, these uh, people this paul, paul and silas they, they threw them into the prison there's the outer prison where they kept the ordinary prisoners and then there's the inner one that one nobody could come out of that place and then they put their feet into the stocks and just uh, chained everything together so that they'll never escape the enemy thought you'll never escape but they are liars tonight you have escaped they thought you are bound and what they have done they have padlocked everything and nobody can open it but tonight that padlock is opened in jesus name and but how did they do it how did they do it push push praise until something happens look at it that's what he did in verse 25 and at midnight paul and silas prayed and sang praises unto god you keep on praising the lord i thank god i'm delivered i thank god i am free i thank god all my bounds all my chains everything is falling away the praise the sang praises to god and the prisoners had them suddenly that's how it's going to happen tonight and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaking and immediately everybody say immediately 
they kept on praising the Lord. They prayed, they sang praises, and they kept on singing those praises of the Lord until something happened. And the problem we have with many people is, you know, they sing a little and they say, that, that's enough. After all, I'm still having this prayer. Keep on doing it until the problem is solved. Let something happen before you stop. You pray until something happens. You plead until something happens. You persevere until something happens. You preach until something happens. You prophesy until something happens. You, uh, you proclaim until something happens. And then now you keep on praising the Lord and something has happened already. And it says suddenly the, there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaking and immediately all the doors were open. How many doors? All, all the doors. Which door have you been thinking will open? The door in marriage, the door in childbearing, the door of deliverance, and the door of healing, and the door of conversion, and the door of salvation, and the door to success, and the door to happiness, and the door to the goodness of God. All doors are open tonight. Because we push, because we push, you praise until something happens. And then it says, and everyone's bands. How many people were free? I said, how many people? Everyone. Everyone's bands, it says, in that verse 26, were loose. The young and the old, the boys and the girls, the men and the, the married and the unmarried, the white and the black, the brown and the yellow. Everybody, the illiterate and the literate, the African and the American and the Europeans and everybody, everyone's bands loosed. I'm through. I said I'm through. Praise the Lord. You've got something tonight in Jesus' name. Now it is to, how many people will push? Pray until something happens. How many people will push? You, you persevere until something happens and then you praise the Lord until tonight something is happening. Close that Bible and stand up and let's see how much you can push and pray until something happens. Now you know that there are many kinds of miracles. Which one do you need? You tell the Lord, oh Lord, I come here tonight. I come in for my miracle. I come in here tonight. I come in for my miracle. Why don't you open your mouth and tell the Lord, oh Lord, this is what I need. And tonight I'm in for a miracle. It must happen. It must happen. This weekend, something must happen. Pray until something happens. Pray something will happen. It will happen. Miracle of salvation, yes, it will happen. Miracle of healing, yes, it must happen. Miracle of deliverance, it must happen. Miracle of getting job for the jobless, it must take place. You pray until something happens. Plead. Plead. Because of Jesus, Lord, you must do this. The conversion of your wife, it must happen. The conversion of your husband, it must happen. The conversion of your children, it must happen. The healing of your sickness, it must happen. The deliverance from every attack, every affliction, it must happen. The provision of a job, it must happen. The clearance and the freedom in that case, it must happen. The body you carry, it must be lifted, it must pray until something happens plead until something happens oh lord i'm your child oh lord you saved me jesus is my savior jesus is my redeemer he died for me on the cross of calvary because of the blood of the lamb because of the name of jesus plead until something happens because of your word that cannot be broken I stand upon that unchanging word, holding firm unto that word that cannot be changed. Plead until something happens. Persevere. 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 I will not let you go except you bless me. 
I will not let you go except you bless me. You persevere until something happens. What are you asking for? Why don't you persevere and say, Lord, this is your promise. Lord, this is what you said. I'm expectant tonight. I'm hopeful tonight. My expectation is great tonight. Persevere. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Tell the Lord. I say, Lord, here I come. Lord, here I come. Persevere until something happens that challenges your family. That challenge your personal life. Persevere. Persevere. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. There's healing for the sick. There's deliverance for the afflicted. There's forgiveness for the guilty. There's salvation for the sinner. There is holiness for the believer. There's the power of the Holy Ghost for the sanctified. Why not, if not, persevere until something happens. Profess the word. Preach the word to yourself. Remind yourself of the word the promise you have heard. Preach that word to yourself again. My soul, why are you cast down? My soul, why are you not holding on to the promise of God? Preach to yourself and preach until something happens. My soul, why are you losing grip on the promises of God? Why are you discouraged? Preach to yourself. Quote the word to yourself. Remind yourself of the promises of God for you and preach that word yourself all over again and say, Yes, I'm going to stand on that word, the word of the eternal God, and preach it until something happens to you. Prophesy to those dry bones, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord dry hand hear the word of the Lord dry family hear the word of the Lord prophesy like Ezekiel until something happens yes it will yes it will the secret is moving on. The secret is going on until something happens. Never giving up. Be strong in faith. Persistent in prayer. Looking up to the Lord. Standing firm on the rock of ages. Not allowing yourself to be tired, to be weak. To be discouraged but standing firm on that word that never will change push proclaim until something happens profess that face until